As you probably can see, it's not a sunny, beautiful day for baseball. It's a sunny, beautiful day for baseball. It's gloomy, it's drizzling, it's misty. It's gloomy, it's gloomy, it's drizzling, it's misty. Tuning up for conference tournament competition. Akron and Cincinnati lineups after this. Lineup for the Cincinnati Bearcats. Defensively, setting the scene for the Akron Zips of Coach Dave Frost, it's Bruni, Mandarin, and Hudson. Left to right, and third to first, McGuire, Hagee, McConaughey, and Simmer. And a battery of Beck, and the starting pitcher is Andy Finley. Finley, got to come in there now. Full count delivery. Beautiful breaking pitch, a call, third strike. Chumley was fooled, one out. That's got to get the lineup thinking over there. He goes 3-2 and then drops a Uncle Charlie off on the first hitter and strikes him out. Uh, they're going to have some second thoughts in the back of their head. Zips of Coach Dave Frost in his 17th season. Head baseball coach at the University of Akron. Dave Mandarin's the leadoff man. He's in center field. Mike McGuire at third base. Then Jim Bruni, the left fielder. Paul Simmer batting in the cleanup spot at first. Dave Hudson, the right fielder. Chris Gaskin, the DH. Brian Beck, batting seventh, the catcher. Bill Hagee, the shortstop. And Al McConaughey at second base. The Mercy to Philadelphia at halftime. Fly ball, curving foul, but it's fair just inside the line. An extra base hit for Mike McGuire as he sliced one in fair territory. A two bagger for McGuire. Yeah, they've got some uh, guys that can fly. Hard hit, right at the second baseman. McConaughey keeps it in front of him and makes the play. The pitching and what else? This is Barker. No one let me pitch. <laughs> <laughs> what else did you play? Is there another position you didn't play? Rackett has given up no runs on a couple of base hits. He has struck out three and been aided by two double plays. And Finley. One two pitch, swung on, hard hit right at the first baseman. Simmer throw to third. Simmer throw to third. Like the outfield doesn't respect the power of Hudson too much. They're really playing him in. That's the right field is way in. Fly ball, center field, well hit. Going back, Dijkstra is over his head. Akron will take the lead. A stand-up two-bagger for Dave Hudson. It's one to nothing, the Akron zip. Even with the dead air, as you had mentioned earlier, bro, and the conditions, he really gave that one a ride. Yeah, it looks like he, the conditions kind of lulled the outfield to sleep, as I was saying, and, and Hudson just gets a hold of this. He's dead straight away center field. Looks like it just short hopped the fence right there. Almost was out for a two-run homer. Hudson coming through in the clutch for the Zips with his 17th RBI of the season, his eighth two-bagger of the year, and it's given Finley a one to nothing lead. Here's Gaskin. First pitch to Schneider, slicing foul down the right field line. Oh. Fantastic catch made there by Bruni, who has just switched over from left field and makes Frost look like a genius. <laughs> what a catch, a sliding grab just over the foul line. Now, uh, now Mr. Hudson can't say anything like, Coach, why did you take me out? With a play like this, uh, you're right, it does make him look like a genius here. Bruni had just been switched to that right field position. Look at that. Like an ice cream cone, you can see the white of the ball. Great catch. Schneider retired. Here's Motice who hits it well. Right field. Right at Bruni. He's got it. Well, if this isn't fate, I don't know what is. Two up, two down. Both put out by the new right fielder, Jim Bruni. It brings up Barlidge in the third base. 23 this season in college. Yeah. He slip a little bit. Fly ball, right field, moving over Bruni. He <laughs> takes the catch. He was inserted into right field. All three put outs made by Bruni. A one, two, three inning for Finley. And Finley threw five at the end of four and a half. It's Akron one, Cincinnati. Yeah, yeah I got to go with the hard slider or the fastball right here. 
Rackets a senior. 3-2 delivery, breaking pitch inside. He lost him. That's his second walk. How about it? Hagee draws the base on ball. Yeah, he just had a little, what they call a backup slider there, it looked like. It just kept tailing into the hitter, and it was the same one he fouled off of him. 3-2 delivery. Hard hit right up the middle, a base hit. McGuire delivers in the clutch. One run in. Two runs in at three to nothing. Akron. Mike McGuire coming through. He hit a bullet right up the middle and caromed off of the mound and into center field. Akron has extended the lead. Fastball right down the middle here, Bruce, and he hit it right back up the middle. And uh, that bracket chose to pick, pitch to McGuire, and it's going to end up haunting him because he really hit the heck out of that ball. He's a sophomore. Ground ball. Ward short. Good pickup. Hagee's throw. Two men gone in the sixth inning. Hagee stayed down well on that ball. You never, you know, when the field conditions are like this, you just can't ever tell. You almost have to go down and try to stay in front of the ball on every ball because there's so many lumps out there. You just can't ever tell what's going to happen. The ball doesn't bounce through. Finley delivers. Breaking pitch, off speed, harmless fly, center field. Play made by Kashak. Another one, two, three inning for Andy Finley. He's gone through six. He's got a no hitter. The score, Akron three, University of Cincinnati nothing. Rounded out the third in the fourth. Everett Brackett, who has pitched a pretty good ball game. That's a high fly, deep left, backing up Snyder, way back. It's gone, it's a home run. Paul Simmer with a solo shot home run to lead things off in the bottom of the sixth inning. It's now four to nothing, Akron. Simmer tagging his third dinger of the year. Well, he got all that one. Two men gone in the inning, and here's the catcher, Brian Beck. Well, this is a thrill for him if Finley goes out there and completes the no-hit performance through. Beck oh, could yeah. say that he caught him. So he's coming down harder now. Strike is called. Two and one. Finley delivers. One run and the strike three. One pitch too soon. <laughs> There's the changeup right here. He is just consistently throwing this pitch when he's been even in the count or behind in the count. Uh, he's kept them off balance all day. I mean, what a way to Rain coming down harder now. Finley doesn't realize it. No, it's uh 80 degrees of sunshine out as far as he can The Akron bench alive. 1-1 one, one pitch. Outside. Two balls and a strike. <laughs> you see their superstition. Looks like the Rockettes over there. So. Two balls, a strike. Nobody on. Two out. We're in the last inning. Finley one out away from a no-hitter. The pitch. Three balls and a strike, he missed outside. Andy Finley. The pitch, ground ball up the middle. Shortstop Peggy, the throw. Finley throws it out header. Akron wins as Andy Finley what a game. faces 22 batters, only one over the minimum. He almost had a perfect game, but he gets the no-hitter. A tremendous performance for Andy Finley of the Akron Zips. What a way for Akron to conclude their competition on Sports Channel Ohio in their last home game of this 1990 season. And what a way for the University of Akron to enter AMCU Conference Tournament competition.